Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Navneet and you are watching Cloud and Coffee with Navneet. In, in last video, we have learned how you can able to use uh, CLI to update your Amazon Quick Site permission from Admin to Admin Pro. That permission is needed for you to get started. And this, from, in this video, we are going to learn how you can get started with your Gen BI or Gen AI journey with Amazon Q for a Quick Site. In order for you to get started with your journey with Amazon Q for a quick site, the first things you need to do is you have to create a topic. So think of a topic as a place where your data is being stored. So machine learning able to use the data for you to perform the generative BI capabilities, right? You must be wondering, I usually when we go and and being stored the data in, in a, any any BI tool here at the quick site was the difference between being data stored into normal format and being data stored into topic. So let's say this is our data set. If I go and upload a file here, this is my sample file. I've been uploading this sample file. I will go next and put on visualize. Okay. Let me cancel this here. Let's let's see. Let's go back. So we have this sample data set, right? uh if i have to go and edit it my bad i was in analyze tab so i have to go and edit it so if i go and add it so this is how you able to see your data this is how the data look like right so this is this is how it's being stored there are a number of columns all the columns are are has some values right however you can't able to go and start asking questions around it in order for you to ask questions under the hood you have to be storing your data some kind of in back to the store and again this is a different concept if you like to understand around this how the director uh, embedding works etc do place your comment and i will make a video around it but just to make you understand just think of for machine learning in order for machine learning to work we have to be storing your data a data in a different format so machine learning able to understand how the data is being stored right so there is all the concept around how the machine learning will do and that's what the topic is all about so when you create a new topic you will be i'm recalling it sales topic right uh, so what what i will be doing here is i will be using the sales data sample and i will be creating a data set or, or call it topic so just think of in we are doing a or being storing a data in in some kind of vector store that is being managed by Amazon Q. But uh, having said that, right, uh, I've not seen uh, this is being called as a vector store yet. Okay, uh, so but this is what the task do. So it's kind of you know uh, working and having uh, storing the data, massaging the data, keeping it in a way so machine learning able to understand this data and able to generate some insight for you so i will uh, i will pause my video and let it this topic being created and then we can go next and learn about how you can um, you know what you can do with this topic okay never mind this is i think this got created so we got topic created here so once you have your topic created right so this is how it look like it will start ask you to start reviewing it you will be doing review so think of like you know uh, if you have this uh, this other field around it and it identify hey which field may be helpful for you which may field may not be helpful for you and based on that it has uh, has enabled in this field so based on this if it's included not included so if you are doing a query it will be only looking for a for a for a field which may or may not make sense at least in the first iteration so if you see here um, you know it, what is being doing is taking this uh, this column name and it's creating multiple synonyms as well so here is a customer name we can even call it customer right we can call it uh, customer name etc uh, and we can call it uh, partner we can call it customer anything which is fine right so and the next is and if you can able to do and create all kind of uh, synonyms if you can see here so it's kind of you know uh, set tell whether it's, it's going to be dimensions going to be measures going to be fact etc so it will be kind of storing 
in a way uh, in addition if you go and expand this one here you can able to go and add all kind of a descriptions around it right you can able to change this whether it's a role going to be dimension or is going to be measure if there are any aggregations you're looking to perform around it like okay are you looking to do any aggregation around this this uh you know uh you're not looking to perform any aggregation around it if you're looking to do any semantic type you're looking to put around it so those are all like you know able to do not many changes around this field around this topic uh so first thing we have done is like how you can able to include and exclude how you able to make and uh, able to add synonyms so synonyms will be helpful like in it more like how your business able to perform the search against against the data set right you can able to add calculative field around it right so calculative field is, is nothing but like if you're looking to put a mathematical formula around let's say i wanted to have uh, you know average or if i wanted to have total sums of of the sales so you will be putting uh you know uh, you will be doing a summation of the total sales number and then creating a column so this way it will be like you know it will be easy you can able to add a filter so let's say hey i wanted to apply a filter against the field maybe the city and i want to only able to uh, you know able to mm, do this for uh, you know mm, for any specific country so any specific city so you can able to do that so you can able to apply filter uh thereafter you have something very interesting is named entity so let's think of a named entity where you look wanted to see the sales data and uh, sales data is is for your organization sales data is combination of three or four columns um and uh, when you call it hey give me the sales data you mean say you wanted to have a geography you wanted to have a customer name you wanted to have a uh, total sales you wanted to have a year year over year growth you wanted to have like you know previous year uh, previous year sales number so this way this is what you are calling as in sales number so can you able to create some kind of a name entity why by, by you know adding multiple column together and then you will be start calling it as a name entity for instance if i wanted to have a uh, so, you know maybe uh, customer details so i wanted to have a, a city right i wanted to have a uh maybe uh mm, country right i wanted to have a state and i wanted to have a phone number uh right so i will be like hey this is how the um or maybe the first name right and then last name so this is how i wanted to have this is like uh, let me move it to the this is the first name this is the last name this is city country state and phone so this is what i i will describe as a customer customer information okay so this is this is customer information list i will calling it and i will be saving this one here okay so once done i will be all good i'm having this entity being created and i will go back let me go back to the topic and then if i go back into my topic and i will go in into the data if i go into the name entity i'm able to see here let's call it customer information okay so this is uh okay so, so okay it's already exists so let's call it some customers let's start calling it customer okay this is this is what it is so and thereafter you have different tabs i will be talking about the user activity activity and other things which it can do is when you will be first time you will be creating this topic it will be generating this bunch of questions based on the data which you have provided you have an options you can able to go and hide the suggestion or you can go and regenerate the suggestions i will be going in and uh, reviewing uh, again uh, but uh, but we'll, let's let's get started so now you have created topic it is as easy it get right you will have created this topic and now you can start asking bunch of questions around it right so here you have asked how many districts countries for a customer custom name right how many distinct countries by a custom name so you will be having uh, this many one 
etc so this is being doing so there are four unique territory and 92 unique customer names and then the customer names with the highest number of distinct territories uk collectibles in terms of so what is doing it's not only this giving you the response but also it kind of giving you where the response coming and if are there are any context around this response right so let's see if we can able to find another another uh, you know uh, ask uh, let's say if i go back let me see hey how many years id how many cities by state let's see if what we're getting in this one here so we are having california it's showing this many massachusetts new york so this is like there are total 2823 cities across 17 uh, unique states blah 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 so this is giving all this information etc uh, which is being which is available in our uh, data so kind of you're not only able to see the data but also it's give you uh, you know this this really good summary so this way hey what else things are there within the data is being summarized here right so that's really cool other thing that you can do is like hey if i'm liking this one let me add this to my pin board so i can able to go back and refer in the future right and this makes sense this is this is more meaningful for me etc right or also you can ask uh, either give me me uh, give me sales number so it will be go and give uh, give the number so if you see here right uh, i have i have not even given a number here i have just wrote n u v e r so it's like purposefully i wanted to showcase you even if you miss type or you know you know if you're having some typo around it still it able to recognize or at least try to recognize and then it will give you number so if it's it's showing like i have this many of like 10 million of sale there were unique to 3000 something unique order with the 236 uh 234 distinct value and and etc so it will give you give you the idea right so it also they see if you see here hey what's what do you, do you mean like hey you know sales number it means like uh, this is what you're looking for are you looking for something this is what is being showing like total sales so and based on the total sales it's, it has given me that entire entire number right so that's very very interesting so when you're looking to go and expose this one uh just think of right you know when you go and work on on a on any bi it's take a lot of time for you to to build the dashboard in the first place generate all kind of uh, you know uh, gather all kind of information and then present to your end user and then they have a different requirement then it will come back so with that like as soon as you will be uh, you will be generating this uh, creating this topic you will be making this available and then your end user able to ask all kind of a question around your data so those like enabling them with a self service right other thing is uh, you know uh, here uh, one thing is interesting so let's say i have given the feedback i like this i like this data right this is super super important why because sometimes as in as a bi developer you do not know how your business is being even using your data if this, if this data even making sense right if there are any discrepancies in this data or some some other issues around this data so with this feedback you can if you're able to go and look into the user activity you are able to see hey i got this positive feedback or i got this negative feedback around this data this is how my customer are using this this data right so this is so really really interesting because you have an options to know who is using your data what kind of data is being used etc and then you can be able to build those visuals around it and make it available for your end user uh, we will, I will be keep continuing with all other capabilities which is being available as a gen bi capabilities so um, just keep watching this series right so this series is getting and again okay, right don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, like this video yep thank you